we're going to be talking about goods and services, and we're going to have some discussion about money. What kind of money do we use here in America, in the United States of America? So we're going to start our lesson by talking about a few vocabulary words. So the first thing that I wanna to talk to you about are goods. What are goods? So I have a vocabulary card here that shows us the definition of what a good is. So goods are objects that you buy to use or to keep. So a really good example of something that would be a good would be if you went to the grocery store and you bought food, okay? So you use money to buy food and take it home to use it or keep it in the refrigerator, okay? So goods are objects that you buy to use or to keep. The next word that I would like to talk about is services. So services are jobs that you pay someone else to do for you. So for example, when you go to the grocery store, there are people that work in the grocery store. And they, if you go to the deli, they might slice lunch meat or cheese for you. Or if you go to the meat department, they might cut a steak for you or in the produce department, they put the apples and oranges and salad mixes out onto the shelves. And you are not buying that person, right? You're buying their service, you're paying for their service. So when you go into a grocery store and you buy the food, a little part of the money that you spend on the food goes to pay for the service that you receive from the people that work at the grocery store. So that would be the service, okay? Maybe they bag your groceries or they, at the cashier, rings all your groceries up and takes your money. So those are all services, okay? Another word that I'd like to talk about is consumer. A consumer is someone who uses goods or services. So the example that I would like to share for consumer Sticking with that grocery store trend that we're talking about, the consumer would be you. When you get home and you eat your groceries that you purchased from the grocery store, you become the consumer. So you're using the goods that you bought. So you are a consumer. Another word that I would like to talk about is producer. A producer is someone who provides goods or services. So perhaps the producer in this situation could be a farmer. The farmer grows the fruits and vegetables to sell to the grocery store that in turn sells it to you, okay? So producer is someone who provides goods or services. This word is supply. Supply is the amount of goods or services that is available. So if we're talking about the grocery store, the supply would be the food on the shelves at the grocery store, okay? So the shelves are filled with food, that's the supply. That's how much or the amount of goods that you have available to you, okay? Another word I would like to talk about is demand, okay? So demand is how badly consumers want a good or service. So the demand, if all of the food in the grocery store is on the shelves and you go down an aisle and you really need some ketchup, but the brand of ketchup that you really need is all sold out, that tells me that perhaps the demand on that particular ketchup is high. And maybe the grocery store needs to order more or the producer needs to make more because the demand on that product is high. 